So welcome to the Writer's Mindset. I am Yvonne Redden and I'm a content writer, freelance writer and also an author. And today I am talking with my friend Gary Todd all the way from Sydney, Australia. And we actually haven't spoke in 18 years, Gary. Can you believe that? Hello, hello, Yvonne. It's very nice to see you. And uh, it has been a long time, uh, 18 years, my God. It's just unbelievable. We were very good friends. I was, I am friends with uh, Gary's wife in Australia. We brought up our two little nippers walking around yeah. the streets in, in Bondi and Sydney. But yeah. the power of Zoom and keeping in touch and social media is fantastic, Gary, isn't it? Especially look at this. We're able to do this here today, which is I'm delighted to chat to you about your gorgeous book. Oh, thank you. It's, it's great to see you anyway, but thanks, sir. Yeah, look, it's fabulous. And I, look, the, the cover and all is gorgeous as well. It really captures a moment, doesn't it, Gary? It does. I think, I mean, obviously the cover is important. That yeah. I, I, I picked the, uh, they gave me about 20 photographs to pick. Yeah. And I picked that one. Um, yeah. Uh, so it was pretty much what I had in my mind. Um, yeah. What, is what, uh, what, what I got to use. So, it's you, you know, so they, they, they're in charge of that. Yeah. But they've done a good job. They, they, they really did do a good job. They did a good job. So let's talk about Annie's Boy. Now, this isn't your first book. This is your third book. Yeah, it's the third book. The first two books were on um, work, workouts with uh, Boxing's Greatest Champs. So very much different to this. Um, Completely, the, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of passion, a lot of effort went into writing the, the first two books. But this, this took me to a different level. I mean, I used to kid people on and say, it's all, I'm only writing about boxing. You know, I could I could never write a love story. And yeah. here we are, all these years later. It's it's basically a, a love story. It's a brutal love story, but it's a love story nonetheless. And I, I actually pinch myself. But um yeah, I'm, I'm very I'm very happy with it. I'm very proud of it. And um as I said, uh, there's, I think there's a book in everybody, and um, especially yeah, when you've went through. I do different, too, Gary. Uh, but it's getting the help and knowing where to go to to begin, isn't it? But I think once you start, it seems to did it flow out of you. How long does it take you to write your book? Uh, it, took, it was a long process. The um, the the thought process was was much longer than actually writing it. So my mum died in two thousand eleven. Yeah, and um, that's that's what sort of got me thinking about. You know, my mum had a bit of a tough life and, you know, she never had it easy and she tried her best. And, you know, we got, I got thinking and then I, thought, I actually thought about the, my kids, you know, and Jenny, uh, my wife. Yeah. So obviously she, she's, she never, because we were across here, there was too many of us to go back at the time. We yeah, very hard to go back with the money <laughs> side of things. And um, so they never actually knew their granny. And I was very much different person that I was back then to am yeah. now. Um well you evolve and you, you you become better and stronger and but and, and a, probably a better person. But um yeah the when um that was that was what I decided to write. Um I actually wrote 30 pages for for Jenny to read and for my kids to read. Mm. They were a grown up and they were they were getting to that age and um one of, one of my daughters was um, Hannah. Hannah, you know Hannah. Yeah. Hannah was getting bullied, uh, and I, and I thought, well, you've got this. Might be a good, you know, for getting knocked down. Yeah. Um, yeah. Get back up again. And so yeah. I thought, well, I'm going to write this and and give them a read, and see. And that's how it started. Um, it was 30 pages, and it took me a few a few days to write the 30 pages when I thought about it. I then got a. Um, John, her son, put it on a got me on a radio show. Mm. The radio show went bananas, and uh, a lot of good feedback after the radio show. And it was an interview. Yeah, uh, it was called Conversations, and um, went on that. And everybody was saying, "You've got to write a book. You've got to write a book." So I was flat chat at work, working in the tunnels, and um, I had a lot of responsibility and all the rest of it. So. I, I, I actually put it out in my mind. Yeah. And then as the as time went on, I, then I decided to actually think about writing it, serious, seriously about writing it. But the, it was funny, funny things, me being me, I actually started writing the screenplay before I wrote the book. Now, normally that's it's the other way around. Yeah. 
but it's completely different writing style, Gary. Yeah, well, I was completely different, and I'd never written a screenplay. Um, one of my mates, uh, he actually, he actually lives and works in Hollywood. He he phoned the house, and uh, one Sunday morning, I just finished training, and uh, Jenny answered the phone. She says, "There's a guy for Hollywood." He says, he's, "He's the Hollywood signs in the background, and he wants to talk to you." And I thought, I thought it was a wind up at first. I, thought, I really thought it was a wind up. So they're like making the vague faces to each other. And then it was it was my mate, and he, he was actually in tears when he when he read the 30 pages. And he says, We need to make a movie. And uh, I'm going, A movie? He goes, But on the one condition, you have to write the screenplay. And I says, Mate, I said, I'm no, I'm no writer as such. You know, I, I've definitely never done a screenplay. Yeah. And uh, anyway, I'd done it and I put my mind to it and I'd done the screenplay. I let Jenny read it and uh, the kids read it. Did you get training Jenny for it, Gary? How did you let, how did you write? That's interesting. How how did you just write a screenplay? Yvonne, I've no idea. I, 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 sat, I sat in the, the room up the stairs yeah. and I just, uh, I, I, I've no idea. I, so there's I, more I just, conversation I just in the screenplay, isn't there? Like, like when you write a book, it's more descriptive. So you're set yeah. in, isn't it? So in in a script, it's a dialogue, it's a dialogue yeah. isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I had what I done was that I got a school jotter, and I wrote down pretty much all the the memories I had for yeah. the earliest memory I had, which is about four year old, five year old. Yeah. And I just jotted everything down dot points, and then even honestly, if you ask me how I managed that, um. I, I couldn't tell you. I just done it, and um, I had. There's not too many characters um, in the screenplay. Yeah. There's not too many characters in the book. Yeah. But this the screenplay was. I, I found it exhausting. Yeah. And but I done it, and I sent it through, um, and the guy got back to me and he says, "This is a movie. You've done it," and I went, "Well, God knows how I managed that, but I've done it, and yeah. thanks very much." So that's how it started. And then when, when Jenny read it, she says, my God, what, what the hell's been going on with you? I've been with you all these years and you've never, never mentioned any of this stuff. Yeah. And I went, well, I didn't want to. I didn't want to talk about it. You know, it was, I'm a pretty deep sort of guy. Yeah. yeah. And um, so she, she read it. She was sort of in tears about it. And the kids read it. And then this is Dad, we, we never knew. Sorry, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going, it's all right, it's fine. You know, it was a long time ago, so it's, it's good. You. Exactly, but, yeah, yeah. But, but but then Jenny says to me, you have to, you've, you've done the hard but I think. Yeah. You've, you've got to write this book. It's, you have to write the book, girl. And then that's when I went serious, serious. I went, I locked myself away. Um, you know, I, I never, I done was write, think, locked myself away. It was only me and the dog. Yeah. Uh, the dog never left my sight. Yeah. Um, I sat down and wrote um, loads of notes on a, on a book, a jotter again, earliest memory, same thing again, uh, chronological events. Yeah. Uh, and I, I look, I, I can say is I wrote it for the heart. So it was, I, I put my heart and soul into every page. You, and can, you can feel it off when you read it though. And But even just the description of the room, of the smells, of everything, you know, you, you've got it down to it. You're nearly in that room with him when when he fired the thing through the window. Your your father, Jesus! I mean, I nearly jumped because I could feel it. You know, the sledgehammer, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that I, it took me yeah. a second to. I had to read back and go, did that just happen? Like you know, there there was a few things I was like, oh my god! I mean, your mother was so lucky to be in the kitchen at the time, making a cup yeah. of tea or something. Do you remember? So even just the detail in that. Yeah, it must have been I, very frightening. I, I'm I, just going to tell I, people. When I was, I, you were born in Dundee. When, when, it, when I wrote that. Yeah. I know we have Wi-Fi. Because we're in Sydney, we're on different sides of the world. It's great. I just want to explain to people that you were born in Dundee in Scotland. And you moved to Sydney in 1987, was it, Gary? Yes. Yeah. 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 I think the Wi-Fi yeah. is kind of in and out, so that's okay. Um, uh, can I ask you, did your mother ever come over to Australia? 
she came over once. Uh, she didn't like it. She she missed the bingo. <laughs> Funnily enough, she missed the bingo. Yeah. And uh, she didn't like the bingo pens. Um, she could she I took her down to Coogee Beach and she she rolled up her trousers, and I went, "Where's your swimming course?" Yeah. She goes, "I kind of swim." I, I says, "You kind of swim." I never knew you could swim. And uh, she says, "Can we go to the bingo? I don't like it here." Completely. So she did, did, but, did she come over on her own? Did how did she get over? Yeah. Did she? She came across on her own, uh, but she yes. she didn't like it. She wanted to go home early and everything because she she missed the bingo too much. And that sounds daft, but that's, that's what it was. Uh. I know, but look, at least she got over and she got to see where you set your life up. You know, that must have been hard. Uh, that scene yeah. at the end of the book, Gary. If that's in a movie, you'll have the whole cinema in tears when you were leaving. I know what that's like because I remember that too. And I remember leave, even leaving Australia. Everything's like in slow motion, isn't it? I was I was terrible. It's 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 probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I was. But you knew so it was the right thing to do. I I, I wasn't going to go. I was I was the right thing to do, but I struggled for years. Even I I, I struggled for years here. I didn't I actually didn't like it here. I couldn't settle, and um, I just I, I was I missed them too much, you know. And um, I was just really tough, like yeah. being on your own. It was, and uh, I wasn't I wasn't my cup of tea. Yeah. For a long time, yeah, and funnily enough, it was I got a job on the Oregs, and then uh, I went back to Scotland and met Jenny. So that was that was really the the turning point, really. Yeah, uh, meeting meeting Jenny. I probably ended up somewhere else. Yeah, uh, I would have ended up somewhere else, but uh, yeah. You so needed the, to, you needed to get I away went, from um, at the time. You as you said, I was really tough going. Mm. I, Yeah, I had, I had to get away because um, things things weren't going good for me. It wouldn't have went well for me there. Uh, it was just too much, too much unrest, too much, um, you know, the unemployment. Yeah. Um, I was I wasn't good. I, I I wouldn't. I wanted to fly. I couldn't. My my, my wings were clipped. Yeah. You know. And um, yeah, it was just just the way it was. But my mum, my mum said to me like, when she whispered in my ear, "Don't come back." I know we're having feedback. There's definitely a continuation of you wanna, left it like you were going off to Australia. Now we need, we want the next one of when you got to Australia. There's definitely a book there. Well, well it's, a lot of people say that this, but I, I, I'm happy to just be like, I, when, when, as I said, when I met Jenny, my life sort of changed around. So there was a few years it was a bit up and down and, you know, yeah. got a wee bit of trouble and what have you, but I went working on oil rigs and, that sort was it. So I think actually it's quite. I'd be quite boring, you know, because everything was good. People like sort of ups and downs, don't they? Yeah. So it, um, you've got to make a story. You know what I mean? Like that. Yeah. I'm not sure about the, the second book, but a lot of people have said it. Yeah, uh, I just think the way it ended. And tell me what what's happening with the screenplay at the minute, Gary? Screenplay is um, there's there's even there's actually a few people. Um, it's probably auction, isn't it? It'll probably be auctioned. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure at that stage yet, but there is a few people interested in it. Um, probably can't, can't mention any names, but yeah. there's there's a, there's one particular group of people that are very um, quite famous. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But as I said, it's all new to me. This is this is a new thing for me. Um, I'm just going to, well, I'm on a bus and I'm just going to ride the bus. And fall and, but you're used off. to meeting celebrities, Gary, because you've met loads of different ones. And that that's the Hollywood connection, is it? Is that from when you went over to interview the boxers in LA and all over the yeah. world? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I bumped into a few through the years, but I'm, I'm no friends with any of them. But yeah. um, not yeah. like that, but you, you do, you meet them at ringside at the boxing and stuff like that. So, but it's, yeah, it was Opportunities come, and you you've got to take them if you if you get them. So that's that's a real. I've never done that in my life. Yeah, I know so. a few of the boxers from when we. I think we went to a great boxing event when we were in Australia. But I I got to know all the names because of you. I mean, you met uh, Patio and everything, didn't you? Met them. I met. I've met. I've met everybody really. I've not met the Mexican Canelo. I've not met him, but I've met everybody else. And who's been so. the one that that you were were you, were you gobsmacked and like? 
I was gobsmacked to you, Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Muhammad Ali was gobsmacked. Um, um, Jesus. Uh, and uh, I was gobsmacked with uh, different reasons. Different reasons. Yeah. You know, yeah. Some of these guys have like multiple world champions and they made any money. Yeah. You know, things like that. And they, they, some of them had jobs, you know, they, and then they go and fight, train, spar. Yeah. And uh, so I, I was gobsmacked for a lot of reasons. I met uh, uh, Vitaly Klitschko. Yeah. So he was um he was one like he's obviously in that terrible war in Ukraine now. Yeah, so yeah. I met him and that was a big uh, big yeah. thing at the time for me as well. Especially yeah. years later when you say yeah. Jesus, look, look where he is now. Exactly. And look, do you think that they just weren't good at, with the business size of box the business side of boxing that they lost money or didn't make money? I think it's a bit of both. Mm -hmm. uh, the, like a lot of most of the guys are street. Street kids, you know, and they're, and they're weren't used to get making money, money, big money. Uh, some of them make money, but they just squander it as well. Yeah. They've not got any uh, business sense as such. Yeah. So people that land on them, they, they, you know, they go, they live big all the time. Um, never, never, there's no tomorrow, you know, like, yeah. and then when when they start getting older, start getting a bit slower, then yeah. you then get as many big fights and the money dwindles pretty fast. Yeah. And do you get across to Dundee much now at all, Gary? Have you been Have you been over to Scotland recently? Um, I went. I went across. Jenny went across uh, to your pals and that, and um, I, I went back just before COVID. But yeah. I've not been. I, I went then went back before that. It was hard when the kids were wee, so you were just trying to uh, be the money side of things and that, you know. But it was alright. It was. Uh, I, I, the main thing is Jenny got back. I was I was happy that Jenny got back to see her pals and what have you. Yeah. So, but now now the, the kids are up now, so it's me and Jenny. It's, we can get back maybe more often. And you know, you talk about a lot about your pals in growing up in Dundee, which were which were really important growing up. You know, you just ran yeah. around the 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 nightclubs and whatever you were doing up to no good, Gary. When you go back, yeah. is there a good few of them still there? Not really. No, no, there's the the first scattered and um yeah, a couple of them, couple of them have died. Yeah. Um just, just things in life. But uh no, it was it's good. When when I go back next time I'm gonna catch up with a fair few. I I went on this Facebook and uh that's opened a lot of doors as in reconnecting with people. Big time. Like it was that's a really overwhelming for me. Yeah. Um all these people I'm going, My God, I've seen them for forty years, thirty five yeah. years and uh Look at so us it's, it's just crazy though isn't it but now that we like if your kids go off traveling you'll be able to talk to them when we when i went to australia and you i just wanted to see my mother on the screen and i and to know that we can do that now i just yeah. you know i i was sending letters like yourself probably and waiting for the postman to come to get a letter back for my mother when i lived in sydney like it was like oh. gold wasn't it when you got it in the post that was all there I used to send postcards. I never wrote too many letters. Yeah. Tough postcards, and but uh, it was really tough. Really tough. But we tough. used to go on. We used to go on the phone. We'd always wait, and uh, we'd go up on a Sunday night yeah. and use somebody's phone. You know, there was a bit a queue down the road. Yeah. Using somebody's phone, and they were moving out the flat the next day or something. You know, it was one of them. Yeah. You would be on the phone for an hour. It's great. But it was good. I know. Yeah. I, I remember we had the um, answer machine. My mum used to ring on a Sunday night with the card. She had our Australian card for the phone <laughs> and we'd talk for hours. It was brilliant. Look, yeah. there, there are moments you don't forget. And I have letters. I've kept some of them. My mum's gone as well, unfortunately. Yeah. So they're like gold, aren't they, with having these memories? And tell yeah. me, is the tenements and all, is all that gone from Dundee now? No, the tenements are still there. Still um, there. The fit would be what went up left, but um, the, the multi stories that me and my mum lived in at the, the, at the end, they're, yeah. they're, they're gone, they've been knocked down. That was, I've, I've still got the picture of the, um, the multi stories, yeah. And I've I actually, I actually put it up in my office. Um, when, when, whenever I get an office, I put it up yeah. in the office, I've got a friend, yeah. so people are thinking daft, you know, like, what the hell's you got that up there for? But there's definitely a, lot a whiff of Angela's ashes of your book, Gary, that's for sure. Is it? Yeah. Uh, well, for, oh, thanks very much. I've never, I've never read that, but um, I've seen the movie. Yeah. I've seen the yeah, movie. Yeah. yeah, the book, the book is is really good and hard hitting as well because the poverty. But it was more the violence with your dad, with you growing up. That was horrendous, wasn't it? He just wouldn't leave you alone. He really tormented us. He yeah, tormented us for a long time, and uh, yeah. But like, 
as I said, it makes you stronger. Um, yeah. You hear that, it's like a cliche, isn't it? It makes you stronger, but I actually did make me stronger. And uh, Your mum was something else, wasn't she? Like, she was... <laughs> yeah, she was, uh, she, was a, she was a unit, uh, she was a tough wee thing. Uh, she but, was uh, indeed. She had to be, though, didn't she? She had to be. It was, it, it was tough times, mm -hmm. tough times for everybody, you know, just not just me, tough times for everybody. And uh, we were all, we were all up, ducking and diving up to no good and, you know, trying our best in, yeah. in the circumstances. So, but a very but was, similar to, I mean, even in Ireland, it was the same, Gary. We were, we grew up, it was tough. You always ducking and diving as well, you know. You just yeah. grab the chances while you can. And I ran as soon as I could to Australia too, to get away. <laughs> Because it was, it was getting too much. There was lots of drink, lots of drugs everywhere. It was time to go. So yeah. I, I get that. And Facebook, is that the only platform you're on at the minute, Gary? Uh, no, I've got, I've got a website. Right, I've got a website. website? Uh, GaryTodd.org. Uh, .org. And uh, is your book, is there a link to buy a book on that? There is. Yeah, there is a, great. So it's, it's on Amazon. Yeah. Amazon.co.uk uh, But it's Amazon. nice to go on your website, Gary, to find out a little bit about you as well because there's a lo uh, there's lovely stories there and testimonials yeah. of your book. There's a boxing video of you training. So th there's a yeah. lot there for people to, to find out about you and the link to the book. So it's a nice place yeah. to send people. So I'll pop that link in, in this post as well. Um, Thank you. Have you, got, you haven't gone on to any other platforms, Instagram or anything like that? I'm no, I'm no. Right. I'm One sure is Facebook is good. Do you find Facebook good for connecting with people and, and stuff? Like I think it is. Yeah. 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 I think I think Facebook's great. It's yeah. um, I've joined I've joined every Scottish <laughs> site available. You know, I was yeah. trying to go to the Scottish people, but it, I was actually overwhelming. And I answer every every post somebody gets know, back to you. I, I answer it. Yeah. Uh, and people like and the I, interaction I do with the writer. People love that instant interaction with writers you know and look we're all normal people as well like yourself you you love answering the, the comments about people it's amazing um it's definitely going to be in the movies i'm looking out for that now i'd say that would be the next step for you gary that's amazing we'll and it's we'll great that you had control with it. that as well that you could write it because sometimes they take that off and get someone else to write it and it's not the same nah it's it's as i said if if, if this does go as a film or a movie, it will. Um, then I'm I'm going to be pretty stringent. I don't want anything changed. Yeah, you know, because they, they could carve it up. They could make it. They could make it an English story, or exactly, you know, yeah. they could make yeah. it a, an American story. You know, yeah. I've seen it. You've seen that before on in movies. Um, but I would I would really like it to be authentic, uh, watch authentic. You know, yeah. but um, it's it's, it's I, I'm not kidding myself on. It's going to be a long road i think but yeah. um i'll just wait and see what happens uh, yeah. the, the the book is actually the priority he won yeah the books was always a priority yeah to, to get my to get my mum remembered yeah and print i mean i'll be i'll be gone i'll be dead and that book's still going to be there exactly on somebody somebody's shelf you know somebody's bookshelf the lovely legacy will be reading that story yeah I was, I, that's, that was the biggest driver for me right. i wasn't money I wasn't yeah. money making money and like that. It's not like that. I was just getting my mum remember. Yeah, you know, it's beautiful. It's a huge thing for me. Ah, oh, it's fab. And listen, um, did you approach publishers or or what happened there? Did you have that connection from your other books? Did is that the same publishers? No. Different. Yeah. No, different. I I actually use Google. Yeah. And I I had the manuscript. Um, I got it bound. Uh, double triple checked that for spell mistakes yeah. and and the likes. And um, and I just went to the post office and sent them off. And even honestly, I've, I phoned a couple of people and they said to me, they goes, you could be waiting a year. So I went, fine, that's fine. Within five or six weeks, I got um, three offers. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I got, I got three offers, one for New York, one for London, and one for Sydney. And I decided after that, I was going to, I was really thinking about the London thing because I thought that's like the, the connection there. And then I actually spoke to the lady for the publisher in Sydney and we just clicked. And it was, uh, she was very genuine. I, re I really liked her. Yeah. Um, I thought she was honest. She was, um, she was brutally honest. 
but that's what I like. Yeah. And she said to me, she goes, look, this is not going to be easy, uh, but I'm willing to go on the journey if you're wanting to go on the journey. And that was it. And I goes, well, as, as long as I can come in here a cup of tea with you, um, yeah. that would be yeah. great for me. Because I, I then thought, if I go with that in London or New York, um, you're, it's too far away. You know, and it's... I just, I just got a good feeling. She you gave won't me a have good that feeling. same connection. Sure, you wouldn't. Like at least you can go and see the editor and the the publishers. You know, in Sydney, they're yeah. based in Sydney, and um, like that was so lucky. Though, I mean, some people wait years and never get a response. So that was incredible, wasn't it? I, I got. Um, I also got in the first probably three, four weeks. I got a couple for London, and um, they. You want to see this? The letter they gave me, even. I've, I kept it actually. I printed it off and kept it, but I was just, this is that. It's beautiful. I've never read a book like it. Yeah. But gave it four, but gave it four thousand pounds. You know. Yeah. No. And, no. Um, in that one. Yeah. Exactly. That was it. I. I. I just. It took me about. I read that and I read it again. Yeah. And then I. I just deleted it. And I then think the, it's the, all the about persistence, yeah. isn't it, Gary? Just send it off to everyone. It's just keep keep going. That's it. Yeah. Just keep yeah. going. I, as I said. When I got that box, I quickly, I said to myself, I must say something. Yeah. You know, and then, and then when, when the book came out, I never doubted myself. Mm. But when the book came out and I started getting these Facebook, you know, people yeah. I've never knew, people from Iceland, yeah. you know, Iceland, America, uh, Spain, Portugal, Australia. And I said to Jenny, geez, I must have done something right, Jenny. You know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's it. But I've, I've, and, had, I've not had any negative feedback. That's sure. It's, not, it's amazing because it's a real story. And can people? Um, is it only available dot com dot au or is it available on other Amazon sites? It's on I, I think it's on the isn't it? There's on. It's on a few. I'll, I'll have a look and I'll pop them in yeah. the post. And are you reading anything mm-hmm. yourself at the minute, or do you have time? Um, when, um, uh, when I've when I've got a wee bit of time. I've, I like I like Dina Kuntz. Yeah. So the writer Dina Kuntz. So I've I've I liked kind of spooky that kind of uh, genre. So I'll be I'm, I'm reading a book called uh, Watchers. Yeah. So I've actually I've actually read it before years ago. So I'm reading it again. It's good good story. I and think that's on the telly there. anyway, is it? That sounds familiar. It's a series, is it? The Watchers. It's not. It's not on um, the telly. Is so. it? Yeah, I'm nearly sure I, I remember that. But so people can find you on your website, and I'll pop that link in this. And people can also find you on Facebook um, and they can message you there as well. So yeah. um, it's available now and it's available to buy. So let's pop the link in the post as well. I'll do that too. So that, that's well, amazing. Yeah. Thanks a million, Gary, for your time today. It's been a pleasure nah, talking to you. Want. Let's not wait another 18 nice years. <laughs> 18 years, eh? Jeez. Too long. To, Too I'm going to send my son over to you soon so that will get me over there on a holiday. The, and and fun, fun, fun's uh, going good. Finn is good and he's um, the same age as Hannah. So we'll have to get them to meet up and meet up again in another little while. That's for That's sure. Unbelievable, yeah. It's unbelievable. I, we, we, we were watching the videos a uh, few years ago in that park. I can't remember in Bondi. Oh, we, we, me, myself Bondi and Jenny road. walked the legs off ourselves in every park. I'm going to finish this <laughs> off here, Gary. So thank you so much again from Sydney. It's amazing. And see you next time on The Writer's Mindset. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Yvonne. All the best here. Yeah.